so in this video we will see how to create mock api so mock api is really useful if your api is rate limited so if you see the unsplash api this is the application that i built uh, in this video you can check out the link to video so if you also want the tutorial based so you can check out the link in the description so this is the unsplash api image search application so i click on search for anything let's say uh, monkey so it will list out all the images related to that particular or i can say cats so it will show you all the cats i i have also quick link button so you can directly search by clicking on this particular so if you see this api it has 50 requests per hour you can make so you cannot make more requests and you will not be able to make more requests for this api this might be one scenario in another scenario you might want to give some demo and you don't have any backend setup so you can quickly create some api uh, mock data api also there might be scenarios where your application depends on the backend functionality and backend code is not completely ready so you can't wait uh, to integrate into front end so you can start getting productive and create your own mock-up data so you can quickly start this functionality your front-end functionality and later you can integrate with the actual backend api so there are a lot of use cases for creating mock api so in this video we'll see how to do that so we'll create mock data for this particular image search application so we'll not be hitting the actual unsplash api so it will save our request and once everything is done then we can use that so it's very good option to save bandwidth so for that we can use json server so json server is a very popular to create mock api so let's get started so this is the application so first we can install this json server and this is not required in the actual application coding so we'll save install it as a dev dependence so it will be added in the dev dependency section you can see it's added now now we can create a new db.json file and for this you need some key so let's say users so i have a list of users mike jack so these are the users so to start the json server you can create a new script here so inside the available scripts you can add start server and it will be json iphone server so we have already installed so we can directly use it now we need to give the name of this particular file so it will be dot slash db dot json and then we need to specify the port so port 3030 you can also add a watch flag so it will keep watching if you make some changes to it now we can start the server npm run start server you can see now we have this url where you can get that data of any data so this is the json data available so without writing any code now we have this json api ready so we can get make get request post or any request you can make but we don't want for users so if you see this api so let me log it to the console inside app so here we are making calling fetch images and where we are getting this data so let me log this data uh, and we can start the application so keep this running and open another terminal npm run dev now if i search for nature you can see this is the actual data that we are getting so its results contains actual images total and pages so we can for each of the buttons we can create a different object so here instead of users i can say nature and for nature i will be storing this entire object so how can i get this object so you can right click on this when you are using chrome browser 
and select this store object as global variable now this global variable is created so you can use that variable so i can use copy function on dev tools and just pass the name of the variable now entire data of that particular variable is stored in that is copied into clipboard now i can just paste and you can see this is the entire data all the results so we have this particular results so if you see it's becoming very large but we don't want all of them so if you see the app.jsx file what we need we need just image id then urls then url description so if i go here it's in results we need just id so this id then this url description and urls dot small so we are only uses using small image so we don't need all of these data this is extra data so what we can do is we can modify this response so if i spread out temp one get exactly same so we just want to modify results property so what we can do is you can say results and then temp one dot results dot map and here you will get individual result so let me make this so we can use destructuring here in line destructuring so what we want id then alt description and urls alt description and urls now what i want to return so each individual result is an object so here i will return an object and its value will come from this only so it will be id all description and for urls it will be urls so we have this urls urls dot small so i can say this small urls dot small and this value will come from urls dot small so now in chrome dev tools you can use copy function so whatever data or you can store that in a variable so let's say result and now you can see you have this result parameter so now if i print this result you can see you get this updated data but now result contains only these properties we don't have any of those extra properties so i want this result so you can use copy function and just say copy and give name of that variable when you execute this that entire data is copied to your clipboard so i will bring this back and for nature i will paste that so now you can see just 147 lines so we have minimized and it contains only the required data we don't want any other data so by manipulating using map method map method is used to return a new array with the modification so now for nature we get got this data so we can do the same thing for others so birds cats so instead of here you can also go to network Mark this picker refresh this and when i click on birds you can see you get this data in the response you are getting that data in the preview also you can see so here also you can right click store object as a global variable now you can go to console you can see this temp one is added again so again you can execute this command temp one you can just directly execute copy also here you don't need to create a variable so I will execute this now we have that information of this particular birds so i will create another birds property and i will paste all the data you can see this is all related to birds so now we have this bird data now let me refresh again so we'll always get temp one variable if you don't refresh you will have temp two temp three these variables so now click on cats then again go to preview right click store as a global variable now again execute this temp one and this is for 
or it was cat fish so it is all related to cats now we want for shoots so again go to network refresh the page click on shoots and here go to preview right click store as a global variable now again execute this now we have information for that particular shoot so now you can see we have all the data available mock data so we don't need to make api call to the unsplash api we can make api call to our db.js so we have all this data now to access this you can see previously we are using localhost 3030 that is just our json server so now you can see we have various api endpoints so i can say nature it will give you all the nature related images i can show search for shoes we get all these shoes related images so that's how you can create a mock api data and now instead of making api call to unsplash api we can make api call to our own json server so i can comment this out let me first copy comment then add it here now this api url it will not be this so it will be our json server url so this last part we don't want so just this 3030 and here slash that whatever term user entered and we don't need any of this so this will be our final url so it will be url base url slash shoots if user types shoots if i click on cats it will be slash cats so that's why we are changing it to this url now if you go refresh this page go to network close this when i click on nature you can see it works you are getting nature images uh, but the api url is your json server url it's not the unsplash api url so that's how you can use mock data api to avoid rate limiting or if, this is very useful if your backend is not ready you want to do some testing in that case you have all the data available at lo your local machine so even if without network if you don't have network it will still work because this is all the data is in your local machine so you can test it and once everything is good all the every code your code changes are working then you can finally test with your backend api actual unsplash api so you will not be making multiple apis to this particular unsplash image api so you will save your requests so you have available because you have limited number of requests you can make so this is how you can create your local mock api server so you don't have to write your code also you just have all the data that is available so you need to remember the modification is very important so manipulation of data you can see here how we have done so temp one this is the entire temp one then we have we want to change only the results property but we want only these three things so we are using object destructuring and then we are just returning only that particular section so that's how you can use data and manipulate in the browser so you don't have to add all the extra code so now you can see it's just 579 lines previously it was more than 4000 just for nature so that's how you can update the mock data and get that data so that's it for this video if you found it useful do like it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel